guys, it's Emily and I'm jumping on to finish up our three days of kale. So this is the big bag of kale that I bought all day and so we're doing pretty good making through it. So the first night we made kale nachos, the second night we made a kale salad with a pizza and tonight I'm making a soup. So this is a sausage, sweet potato and kale soup and it's really um, kind of hearty and savory and it's just about to finish up. And so if you like sausage or if you like kale, this is a um, dairy free soup so it doesn't have any dairy. Um, this is not vegetarian, it does have the real sausage. So ideally what I do is I've got my cast iron Dutch oven here which I love and I put a little bit of olive oil in it and then I put um, the Italian spicy sausage. I do mild, you could do hot or you could do the sweet and that's up to you. And then what I do is we just kind of chop them up in inch pieces and then we salt them so they kind of get that brown caramelization. And then I add a whole onion, a whole diced onion just into the pot, sautés it very nicely, kind of gets this little caramelization. And then I add a little bit of garlic, and about three teaspoons of minced garlic into the pot itself. At that point, I add, you know, they're kind of getting brown after the sausage has cooked. We add the onions, the garlic, and then I also add the sweet potatoes. And I don't peel mine. You could peel them. Um, I don't mind the skin, and so I just go ahead and add the sweet potato right into the pot with the olive oil, sauteing, and then I also add a whole can of chickpeas that I don't drain. And I do um, just a can of organic chickpeas from Aldi, and I pour that right in there, and then I add my spices. And this is key. So. I like spice, I, I love a lot of spice and flavor, and so what I do is I do two teaspoons of smoked paprika, then I do a teaspoon of uh, dried coriander or uh, powdered coriander, or I also add another teaspoon of cumin. So I put that in there, then you kind of salt and pepper to taste, and then I also add a little bit of, um, it's my secret ingredient, which is chipotle Tabasco sauce for a little bit of kick. You can omit that if you want to, but if you like spice, I definitely recommend it. It adds another layer of that smoking. So then once that kind of sautés and the, everything, like the sweet potatoes are a little bit brown, I add my chicken broth. So I add about six to eight cups of chicken broth, depends on how much broth you like, and then I add a little bit of more salt and pepper to taste. So then I let that boil down for about 10 to 15 minutes until the sweet potatoes are soft and then they're ready. And this is like the last minute of the soup. So it's super, super simple. It calls for about four cups of kale, which I think we can probably go ahead and call that good. If not, we'll maybe have another fourth night of kale. So then just go ahead and add, I'm gonna add four big handfuls of this kale right into the soup. And what we're gonna do to stir it in, this is the last minute of the soup big chunk there. Okay, I think that's good. Maybe I'll save a little bit and I'll have a little salad in there. So I just stir that in for the last minute and it kind of just starts to wilt down and get soft. There it goes. Because you don't want to get it too cooked down because then it kind of gets a little wilty. But just this last minute, it kind of gets bright in color. It really turns the soup into this really pretty um, almost stew, but it's based out of broth, so that's why I call it a soup. And then we're just going to bowl it here in just a second. So I want to know, what is your favorite kale recipe? So I like kale in my soups, I like it in a salad, I also like it in on the kale nachos. So um, the other thing I've done it with is um, another type of salad, it's a quinoa salad that is really good. So I want you to comment below what your favorite kale recipe is. Or if you're like, I've never tried kale and I'm afraid of kale, I'd love to know that too. So this is done now. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the burner. And then we're just going to bowl this up. And I'm going to show you how pretty this soup is. And what I usually do is, again, I'm dairy-free. I can't do any cow's milk, but I can do goat cheese. Um, and I tell her I don't get the hives, so I definitely go for that as much as I can um, and I like the soft goat cheese or you could do again like a feta or like a case of fresco in a soup so before I add the cheese you'll see it's got the sausage the kale the sweet potatoes and the chickpeas so it's got the protein it's got the vegetables it's got the kick with the flavor and then I'm just gonna add a little spoonful of this soft goat cheese right on top just to kind of make it a little bit creamy the other thing that I've seen people add is kind of like Greek yogurt or like a sour cream. So good. So 
really pretty. I'm going to stir this in. It's going to kind of get creamy. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day, and I will talk to you guys later. Share this if you thought this was helpful, and I will talk to you later. Have a good night.